Why is Final Fantasy VI's opera scene considered such a masterpiece? In this video, I will share some of the storytelling elements that made the 20 minute portion of Square Enix's 30 hour adventure stand out. Also on this channel, you'll see a clip of the full scene playing out, so you can find that elsewhere on the channel. Hi everybody, my name is Marco. I live in Orlando and you're watching my gaming channel, Marco in Orlando. Hi everybody and thanks so much for checking out my video. Now, if you are new here, I share gaming content several times a week. And right now what I'm trying to do is build a community around gaming, but more importantly, storytelling in video games and also the industry news that we're gonna have a bunch of coming up here shortly as we all, as we all know. Now, if that sounds like something that, that you're interested in, uh, hit that subscribe button and we can kind of join, join together and have some fun here uh, in the future. Uh, also, if you like this video, please hit that like button and that helps my channel expand its reach. And let's talk a little bit about Final Fantasy VI, which to me is the best RPG in gaming history. Those who have played likely remember the scene that casts you as an actor in a renowned play. Today, we are going to break down the scene and explain why it was so well done. So let's get right to it. Two specific elements that make a great musical are story and music. In this performance, Square Enix presented something that at the time hadn't really been perfected. They took a 16-bit machine, manipulated the sound that were possible, and created distinct voices for the performance's characters. The entire opera scene was phenomenal. It shined brightest during the aria di mezzo caratere, a song during which Maria laments the loss of her love. The aria's voices had to be digitized because there were limitations in the Super Nintendo's cartridges. The performance landed several awards as Electronic Gaming Monthly in 2002, called this one of the 20 greatest moments in console gaming history, and orchestras have been performing the arrangement for years. I've included a link in the description to the Swedish Radio Symphony Orchestra's performance and I highly recommend it if you are a Final Fantasy fan. Actually, I'll include several. I definitely fell into a rabbit hole. This video has focused on story, of course, but in video games, story matters little if there isn't gameplay involved. 
When you arrive, you expect to sit back and enjoy the show. But once you're controlling Celis, you become a part of the show. In a back room, you have to memorize lines, then step on stage and execute them, selecting the right options at the right time. The mechanics are reminiscent of today's interactive games like Until Dawn. As great as this scene is in execution, its importance is expanded because it sets off events crucial to moving the story along, and it brings back a pretty fun villain. The scenario begins when the party figures out that it needs an airship. There's only one, and thankfully, that one is owned by a man in love with the lead of this performance. So a plan is devised to have Celis play that role and tempt the owner, Setzer, to kidnap her. But before that happens, she has to play the role of her lifetime. The classic structure of good storytelling includes four distinct parts. There's exposition, where you introduce the reader, or in this case the player, to the story arc. There's rising action, which is self-explanatory. There's the climax, which is a big, big moment in the story where everything gets resolved. And then there's falling action, where the after effects of the climax are seen and felt. The genius of Final Fantasy VI is that it has these elements in multiple layers. Not only does the game have it, but also the scene in the opera house has it, as does the actual opera playing out on stage. And in yet another storytelling twist, the thrilling climax comes because of a visit from an old friend. The game's creators also added a little bit of suspense by adding a timer during this scene. Final Fantasy VI has been rightfully recognized as one of the great video games in its time. At its 1994 release, deep storytelling in video games was certainly less common than it is today. This game wove the stories of 10 main characters with 4 optional characters almost flawlessly. Add in the care it showed to the stories of NPCs like Kafka and General Leo along with the Aspers and you end up with a recipe for success. The opera scene was merely a microcosm of an incredible and epic story. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. Another reminder to go ahead and like this page and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And we will see you again next time. Happy gaming.